Well, hello there. Uh, we're talking about a certain kind of mutation called a base substitution mutation. I have an example of one on the board right here. Let's say the correct DNA codon is CTT. And let's say somehow a mutation, either by DNA damage or a mistake in DNA replication, turned that codon into a CAT. That's a mutation. What is the mutation? A T somehow got changed to an A. The correct base is T. The mutated base is A. And so a wrong base was substituted for the correct base. That's all base substitution mutation means. A wrong base was somehow substituted for a correct base. And you might be thinking, well, what difference does that make? Well, it could change the amino acid that ends up in the protein. Let's kind of check this out. Let's go through the same drill uh, we did before. Uh, let's figure out the messenger RNA codons, the tRNA anticodons, and then the amino acid using your genetic code chart. Messenger RNA, tRNA, amino acid for both of these. And I uh, usually call on uh, students in class to see what they came up with. Well, I, I can't call on you that easily. Uh, I could, but I don't think I can hear you. And so uh, let's, uh, why don't you pause it and try to work it out. See if you can do it. See if you get the right thing. This is good additional practice. Okay, pause. All right, are you back? Did you work it? Let's give it a shot. Uh, what are the messenger RNA codons? We'll see with G, T with A, T with A. Over here, uh, C with G, A with U, T with A. And then the tRNA anticodons, G, C, A, U, A, U, and then G, C, U, A, A, U. And then we need our genetic code chart to finish this up. Do I have mine handy? I sure hope so. Sure I do. And so what amino acid results in, uh, in each of these cases? Well, C, U, U. Well, here we got first base C, second base U, and third base U. I see a GLU, a GLU, and then uh, as far as the mutated codon goes, uh, the uh, tRNA anticodon is CAU. So I go to first base C, second base A, and that one doesn't matter what the third base is, you're going to get a vowel, uh, uh, you know, no matter what the third base is, and so um, this mutation would result in a protein having a vowel where there's supposed to be a glue. One amino acid is wrong. And so uh, now you may be thinking, well, what difference does that make? I mean, we know that even a small protein has a hundred amino acids and large proteins have multi, many hundreds of amino acids. What difference does one little measly amino acid make. Well in this case it's pretty easy to uh, figure that out because a lot of people inherit that mutation. It happened in some ancestor's germline cell many hundreds of years earlier and they inherit it and in a very crucial protein there's a vowel instead of a glue and it causes a certain effect, a certain genetic challenge. What is that genetic challenge? Well, we're going to uh, stop this little video and open up our books and look at another little video and see what that challenge is. A vowel instead of a glue. All right.